Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands My Jean Readings. This reading will be for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for the upcoming week of June 15, 2020. So big big week this week. We have Mercury going retrograde on the 18th. Y'all already know, I already talked about that last week. We have on the 20th, beginning of cancer season, or 21st, I believe. So happy birthday to my cancers. We also have on the 21st a new moon solar eclipse and the new moon is going to be in cancer so that's a lot of cancerian energy a lot of emotions running high and also um i think the new beginnings will be even more potent than usual because not just because of the solar eclipse but also because june is a one universal month and it is the first one universal month that we've had since the beginning of 2020 so powerful new beginnings like for real for real <laughs> What are the major things for my fire signs for the upcoming week of June 15, 2020, please? Ooh, I'll take that. I sure will. You think I won't? Ha, surprises. Fire signs. Angel number 538. Look it up. See if it resonates with you. Out the gate. Surprises in luck and money in yeah love oh my gosh so that could be a, a major change in your love life a major change in uh, just new developments all around and money sudden success because the dragon the five circles dragon is all about sudden wealth sudden luck things suddenly going your way and this is cool because remember last week's thing was that the universe was fighting your battles for you fire signs so this is beautiful um powerful changes for the solar eclipse in money and in love definitely something unexpected something faded right faded something that you cannot avoid but that you'll like and that is um going to be your to your benefit the center card is about success everything being where it's supposed to be it also portends love as well i love that and you already know mushroom could be dealing with aquarius but the mushroom is just being unconventional again unconventional avenues to get into your manifestations right unconventional ways of making money which makes sense because you have the dragon card but y'all got a surprise this week fire signs y'all gonna love it hmm so oh yeah okay so in clarifying the dragon card we got the four circles j right which is about working hard these are like the opposite in terms of how they operate right the dragon just come through dragon come through dripping look at the money um breathes fire makes things change to your benefit it's always good dragons are uh, good luck in ancient chinese culture and contemporary culture as well but with the jade it's about building the foundation the stability it's also about working hard persevering right so it's the opposite this money just comes to you this is what you you've earned you work toward um there could be some issues though i feel like see here's the thing with the jade card it's all about perseverance and, and working hard and all that but I'm drawn now to the number four. In ancient Chinese culture, four is not um, an auspicious number, right? They think that there's five, there's five um, elements, right? Five directions, north, south, east, west, center. Um, fire, water, air, wood, metal, right? So there's five, they prefer five um, to four. And I feel like here with the four next to the north, this is saying that there could be maybe some delays because this money is coming in, this luck is coming in, but there still could be a minor delay, I think, or a minor distraction because we have the commence card, which is about these new beginnings, but it came after the arrow already landed. So I feel like that's just something small to be on alert for, nothing major. Or feelings of isolation, right? It's kind of like once you hit it big, it's like it's lonely at the top type of energy. Oh, yep, there you go. Or like somebody being jealous because of the sudden financial developments that you're making. Yep, look at that. Center card twice. So one one entering. I love this. New beginning. Walking through doors. Two cards already for this new moon. Where it's signifying new beginnings, right? Things just coming, doors opening, barriers being lifted. And I feel like that's what's happening here as well. Right? You're coming out of this energy. You're coming out of even the energy where you gotta work hard all the time. And you're just effortlessly walking through doors that are just opening. I love that. The night. So again, <sighs> clearing entanglements just came to me, right? Because when you tied, sometimes you tied to things that are a good thing, right? If your boat is um, docked and you don't want it to leave, then having a tie is a good thing. But at the same time, 
if you're ready to go and you're you know you can't undo the knot then it's a bad thing so this is like there could be some some ties that have you feeling this way have you feeling down having you feeling stuck having you feeling isolated right things that you're already tied to but look this is this is clarifying your success so things are right you got center clarifying center so more love more stress more um success more abundance not stress here's the thing everything that came out of the dragon right we have the north and working hard and the little distractions ultimately it's leading to success anyway right so it's unavoidable so even if you feel in this type of way or you unsure or you have some self-doubt that your success is written i told you that up here already it's written Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Okay. And let's see. Oh, Guardian. Of course, Guardian. One of them is You can take it. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. There you go. Sorry about that. Um. So, last car. Yep, some healing coming through. But I think this is self-healing. This is very interesting because you got the center card twice, right? Major success, whatever is happening. Major breakthrough is happening. Um, the three bamboo toad. Again, so this is about your ambitions too. So something out of the ordinary. A, a breakthrough, it looks like to me. Some breakthrough healing. Things clearing up. Things that didn't make sense before suddenly do. And that's, again, with that um, solar eclipse energy too. Because, you know, they heighten everything. So with the new moon, again, these powerful new beginnings. But I feel like this is clarity. This is healing and clarity. Oh, with the next direction that you're supposed to take. With what path that you're supposed to go on. Yep, with the direction in your life. Six bamboo water. Again, so now we're getting more into the bamboo suits. Up here, it was about money, right? More so. And making things happen. Mental energy. But now toward the end of the week, it's more, it's softer energy, right? More relating to emotions and healing and your relationships traveling even but check this out communication we ain't getting no guardian with the water card we got the guardian with the dragon card which is very 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 interesting because we got the dragon card as the first and the last card which that never happens already but the first card we got is just free and then the last card the dragon came with a guardian so this is just saying i told you this already issues that you might be having with luck or with abundance or you might be feeling like you have them because you're obviously not having them that's just like this hiccup during the middle of the week or something like that self-doubt the splashes of that those things all they want you to do is work through them work through them work through the self-doubt work through things that might have you um second guessing yourself or questioning yourself or um is this look really mine is this are these opportunities really legit yes they are right the farmer is about abundance it's about summertime it's about working hard. it's about um fertility right so the soil is fertile yes your soil is fertile don't second guess it don't doubt it your luck is here just push on through that any self-doubt all right so let's start with airy okay So you got the nine of clubs. And new buttons on the scene. Immediate opportunities, Aries. Yup, told you. You are very much in control of your fast track career. A solution to financial difficulties will arrive in nine weeks or in September. Longtime friends will back you and rejoice when you succeed. Okay. Reverse. Your situation is unstable. Keep a low profile. Nope, nope, nope. I feel like the reverse is only here uh, just to warn you about what we saw in the general reading, the moments of self-doubt or the moments of uncertainty or isolation. But otherwise, them opportunities are written. I told you that. They are faded. So with your buttons... Again, making sure that you're in control. That's what the cards just said as well. You are in control of your life. Make sure you're staring yourself in directions that you want to go in. So that means if there's opportunities that present to you that don't resonate with you or that you don't vibe with or you don't like, that's cool too. You can stir and go around them. Um, also the same for obstacles as well. During the new moon, 
be on alert for epiphanies or things coming to you that you may not have been aware of finding out some new information with this new moon solar eclipse that's what that's about too and look at this this looks exactly like an eclipse a new moon eclipse right the ring of fire eclipse that we're having this is perfect so again this is a very potent time for manifesting it's a very powerful time aries for you to receive information from the universe as well as um a time for you to receive gifts from the universe so this is beautiful things i'm, I'm seeing like your reflection so the, re the universe is reflecting back to you everything that you've always put out and all this golden energy <laughs> somebody just rolled by playing uh ain't nothing but a gangster party no, All Eyes on Me, Wow by Tupac. So there you go. Now is your time. You're stepping into the sunlight, Aries. Last button. There's definitely a regal energy about you as well. There is some um, karmic energy swirling around, right? Some energy is being cleared. And when we saw the Knot card, I felt like that's what it was too. Some entanglements, some things that you are clearing out. Now is a good time to clear your space, to clear your head, to clear your thoughts, right? To be aware of... Um, how your thoughts are guiding your life so this is just overall really beautiful energy and you got the nine which is about wrapping some stuff up so you can start your new beginning love it all right next up we got Sagittarius so eight of clubs all right everything is about money and commerce money 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 Ooh, Sagittarius. Okay, eight of clubs. A successful gamble. Renowned as the card of chance, it intimates that you will win a gamble. Follow your intuition, but if the sixth sense tells you, stop gambling for a time. An advancement at work will occur on the 8th of the month or in August. Reverse. Avoid foolish speculations. Remember, investments fall as well as rise. Okay, so again... In the general reading, we had the dragon. We had two of them. Dragon is about gambling. So that being the first card, you have success this week, Sagittarius. Take a gamble, you might win. Literally, like, in a literal sense. Um, the reverse, I feel like, relates to the last card because it came with the guardian. So it's saying, if it don't make sense, then don't go for it. But if your gut is telling you to, to place that bet, place that bet, right? Bet on yourself. Be open to working with other people this week, Sagittarius. You might be lucky in group projects. Um, anything having to do with flowers, anything having to do with vision, with sight, right? With being a visionary, seeing the different perspectives of things, seeing different angles. Especially as this new moon comes, um, again, you're going to be getting some downloads. You're going to be getting a lot of information from a lot of different perspectives. The universe wants you to go with what resonates strongest with you right it's not bad it's like having a lot of options going to a buffet right it's not like oh the spinach is bad but the arugula is good no it's like you just got a whole bunch of options so they just want you to be aware of what is for you what you want again more with this eclipse energy solar eclipse energy so be expectant of downloads information um friendship something just came up so you might make a new friend with this um energy right a new friend that you are you taking a gamble on somebody right they may even be older definitely feminine energy um blank slates again there could be a little bit of confusion um coming for you Sagittarius with this but after the smoke clears after the new moon is over right you'll have your clarity that you seek last but not least be grounded Sagittarius your new friend could also be an uh, earth sign Virgo Taurus Capricorn but this is a time for you to be grounded get back to the basics um get outside in nature everything that you love to do like simplify it times 10 right now is not a time to complicate your life over necessarily <laughs> more than necessary <laughs> over necessarily <laughs> all right and last but not least we have Leo five of clubs everybody this week is about money i love that because that's what the cards the mahjong card said too y'all got a lot of buttons leo a lot um a wealthy marriage high money so the signs are that if you are already re relatively well off your life will continue to be similarly secure if, however, you are not so lucky, you will have to work hard to fulfill your dreams. A breakthrough will occur in May. Oh. If unattached, you may meet a kind lover through work, right? So maybe your work breakthrough has already come. Or with this new moon, right, your breakthrough can still come. It does not necessarily have to be in May. Reverse. Financial problems evaporate through work. So again, bam, this element of work. 
that came through with the last card, right? The guardian that came with the, the dragon. The universe is providing luck for you. Sudden breakthroughs, things are coming. If you feel stagnant, if you feel self-doubt, if you start questioning yourself, work through it. That's what they're saying. And in some people's cases, it's going to be literal work. What they say, like, luck works when you work or something like that. You have to work hard, and then the universe brings the, does the other half. Focus it on your crown chakra, your intuition, right? Change is coming in how you perceive information and even how you perceive people, situations around you. The birds start singing when I said that. There is, um, again, there's a lot of clutter in your life that you probably need to let go of, Leo. Um, the universe wants you to see both sides of an issue. There's something going on where there is a battle happening between two separate forces and they want you to see both sides of the issue. Um, let's see if there's more clarity around that. Not yet. So focus also on your root chakra. So y'all focus it on the, the crown chakra, I'm sorry, the third eye chakra and the root chakra. So this is your intuition. This is about your stability. This is about your foundation, feeling stable. So using those two, be remaining grounded and so that you can ultimately manifest the things that you're trying to manifest. They want you to take things one step at a time, brick by brick, right? You're building your, your foundation, your stability, but it takes it's a process, right? Brick by brick by brick by brick by brick. Also, again, avoiding situations where you're going in circles, but also seeing the cycles of life, right? Everything is a cycle. You don't be mad when winter comes. You don't be mad when summer comes. Because even if you don't like either of those, you know that, guess what? It's all a part of the cycle. So eventually it's going to be over. Definitely major, major occurrences, major resets on your life for this new moon. Um, there's also an element of Again, upgrading, upgrading things that you already have, upgrading ways that you already operate, right? Just doing it in a better way, not necessarily changing it. There could be also, um, ah, so you're activating, that's why I said that earlier, your crown chakra. Wow, there's a furry caterpillar that literally just crawled near me. I've never seen, wow. So transformation is big for y'all. That's crazy. I'm sorry I got distracted. Um, it's like something off a movie. Transformation is big for you big 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 it's in the stars it is divine be aware of situations where you can reinvent yourself some of you may be reinventing yourself with the solar eclipse and this new moon and we in cancer right so you feeling yourself you might be changing how you relate to people um they want you to stay grounded there's also an element of um there might be some heaviness um surrounding all the emotions and the changes but ultimately they're for the best they're um for your benefit metal so some of you may take up metal working may want to make jewelry may um be getting some work done like on your car or something having to do with metal right thank you for listening have a good week peace out